first loss in the league this season, which are thoughts after today's game? Yeah, obviously disappointed to lose a game any time, Gareth. Um, I felt first half we were well in the game, um, had really good opportunities. Um, Jamie McDonald made some good saves. Um, for, for me, Rafe didn't really cause us much, much problems first half. Um, Brian had very little to do. We come in at half time, we speak about things that were, were hurting us, um, even though they didn't really capitalise on the, the errors we were making. We spoke about it at half time, and then the two goals we spoke about at half time, and, and we don't deal with the, the individual errors, and that's disappointing for me. Um, the first goal, there's probably four individual mistakes that cost the goal. Um, and then Jays doesn't track his runner at the back post, it's a good finish for Dick. Um, and the second goal is the same. Um, Gullen gets in down the side and Dara's got him where I would want him, but doesn't go and engage the ball and allows a cutback and it's a great finish for Conley, taking nothing away for the kid. Um, and we're 2-0 down for out of nowhere, because um, I think we defended really well in, in, in the last parts of the game. And then we decide to want to start playing. Um, we change the shape a little bit um, and, and Bluesy scores a, a good header for a, a corner and we put him under pressure, but for me it wasn't enough. Um, that was a game that I think we could have got something out of. Um, and again, I keep saying it, there's not a lot between all, all the teams in this division and it'll be who makes the most, the most mistakes week to week who will inevitably either win the game or lose the game. You mentioned the chances in the first half. Do you, do you feel those maybe could have come away with more from the game, especially you know, that 2 and away are giving yourself a bit of a mountain to climb? Yeah, of course. Um, like I say, we had good opportunities in the first half. We don't take them. Um, Birdie's got a great chance in the first five minutes for a corner, a header over the bar. Robbie's got a great chance at the end, a good save for McDonald. Um, there was other one half chances here and there, but the big one for me is the second half. Obviously, we get the goal, but as you see, young player, um, they're naive. Um, an experienced player would probably have, have bought a foul in the box and won a penalty, um, whereas young King slashes at it instead of he's getting pressured, the, the boy's coming at him 100 miles an hour, just let him come and, and make contact and go down, he would have won a penalty, no problem. But listen, he'll learn from that. Um, I thought when he came on, some of the distribution was very good into the box. Um, but he's not a young kid. Um, but listen, um, we've got to pick ourselves up for the next game next week against Dundee, which will be another tough game against probably the, the favourites to win the league. What you say, back at home against Dundee next week, and what's going to be another tough game? Yeah, listen, Dundee coming off the back of the result last night at home at Abro, 4-2. Um, so they'll be buoyed by that. But listen, it's a home game for us. Every time, every time I speak, I see a bit of importance of us winning home games and, and putting pressure on teams, and that'll be the case against Dundee. Um, but we've got to give them respect. Um, Gary Boyer's come in over the summer and, and revitalised the, the team um, and, the, and the club. So we're under no knowledge how difficult the game will be, but we've got to take the game to them.